What's up everyone? I'm Alex. So now that it's fall and everyone's buying those cute little carrots from the market and you're left with about a ton of carrot tops, instead of throwing them away, I want to show you how to turn them into the best pesto ever. So let's do this. All right, so carrot top pesto recipe. First off, I washed two bunches worth of carrot tops and I'm just gonna slice them right down the middle and I have this big pot of water, about a gallon of water boiling. And I'm gonna blanch this for quite some time so I don't wanna over season the water. So I'm just gonna do a heavy pinch and I'm gonna put my two bunches of carrot tops in this boiling water. And I will cover it back up because I want it to come back to a boil as fast as possible. Now that the carrot tops, the water is back to a boil, I'm going to boil them for eight minutes. I'm going to leave them covered just so really they keep like a really rolling boil. It may seem like a lot of time, eight minutes, but these are really fibrous green and you want to make sure you cook them all the way through so they're nice and tender. So in the meantime, I'm going to toast some nuts. I'm using walnuts today because in the great idea of sustainability, walnuts are one of the nuts, first of all, they're grown locally in California, but they are the nuts that take the least water to grow. So I'm gonna take about half a cup of those. I'm one to strictly say no to toasting nuts in a pan because all you're gonna do is get basically burnt in one area and raw on the other. So turn your oven at 325 and we'll toast those for about 12 minutes. You don't have to think about it or anything. Put them in the oven for 12 minutes. I'm gonna grate about half of a cup of pecorino. The reason I'm using pecorino with the carrot top pesto, it has a little bit more flavor than um, parmesan. It's a bit more grassy, it's a bit more acidic. So that's why I'm using it so it really lives up to kind of like the grassy flavors um, of the carrot top. So I'm gonna do, ahead of time, grate about half of a cup of pecorino romano. So it's been eight minutes that the carrot tops are boiling. Take the hardiest part of the stem, press your finger through it, and it should be feel soft and you should be able to feel your fingers through. So when that's ready, I'm gonna drain those out of there. I've tried doing pesto with carrot top when they're raw, but they're just so fibrous. They're never really that worth it. I really appreciate the flavor of it when they're blanched and the texture of it. A lot of people would tell you maybe to shock them. So once they're fully blanched, you like throw them in ice water. But I also think that by doing that, you're gonna clean and wash off so much flavor that you've gained from cooking them in this beautiful salty water. You're just gonna wash it away. They may not look as green, as vibrant as they would if you used an ice bath, but to me the flavor is worth it. Carrot tops are not too hot anymore. I'm gonna take them and just gently take the excess moisture out. You don't need to strain like you would for like a hard cheese, just for all you guys out there who make hard cheese all the time. You just strain that excess moisture but you can leave a little bit in, otherwise you're just gonna end up with really something that just tastes like grass. Okay, I got this nice little joint of carrot tops. I'm lining up lengthwise, and this is one of those situations where like, you can't use the Vitamix, you can't use the blender, you can't use the mortar and pestle. For fibrous grains like this, you're gonna need to slice. So I got them lengthwise, and I'm gonna slice. Slice away against the grain. So. And I'm just gonna do quarter turns and really keep slicing away until I have something that is finely chopped and that is not fibrous anymore. And now what I'm gonna do is add the walnut and I'm gonna chop those together. Until the carrots and the walnuts are about the same size. And when you think you're done, just do it a little bit more. Okay, I got this really nice combination of walnuts and carrot tops and that looks good to me. I put this mixture in my bowl. All right, so this is all together in my bowl. I got my chopped carrot tops, I got my walnuts. I'm gonna add my half cup of grated pecorino. I'm gonna grate two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna add half of a cup of really nice extra virgin olive oil. So half of a cup this. We'll do the zest of half of a lemon. So I got this, 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 this. Now, last but not least, let's add a little crunchy salt and let's add Ton of black pepper. <laughs> Mix it all together. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit more salt. Mmm. 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 And it's delicious. Everyone needs to make this. Everyone needs to make this. Everyone needs to make this. Pack it up. 
And like I said, that stays good in the fridge for at least two weeks. You can freeze it if you want to keep all through winter. I don't know if I've said that, but I would really suggest everyone making this. <laughs> Carrot top fucking pesto. Bam. This is how I like eating my carrot top pesto. You can make it with pasta, you can eat it with your eggs, you can eat it with your toast. What's really good too is if you just top off your roasted carrot, I mean full circle roasted carrots with carrot top pesto. Sounds amazing to me. I This is the perfect way to introduce it to your life. As you would use it for like, as the same way you would use any other pesto. And turn it into Beautiful, simple, simple pasta. You keep that on hand and you have a meal in literally like 15 minutes. It's amazing, I mean, it's so earthy, it's so vibrant, it's so fresh. It's really surprising to take a green that normally you throw away like this and that you can turn it into such a flavorful meal. It's like, it's like the perfect pesto of the fall. I would really recommend everyone trying it. Let me know how you feel, like and subscribe, sure. All this good stuff, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week with another great recipe.